hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i'm gonna do some casual talk so guys a few years back i had started this youtube channel and uh, i have always tried to help you guys and i have always tried to save you guys from scam and in any way i can so today in this video like first time i'll be more personal about me although i have uh, preserved my personal information many times because i generally do not share that with uh, others i mean lot of a lot of you have asked me for my contact details like whatsapp number or any other social media profile details but i have never shared for privacy reason but first time in this video i'll go much more details about my personal life because i really thought that sometimes or at least once i should give you some information about me of course i cannot reveal everything each and everything and uh, when it comes to my immigration history that i have already described so some points i will just mention in this video so guys i was born in india in a very small town in the state should i mention the state okay i will not mention but in the eastern part of india in a very small thing uh town i was from a very middle class family my dad uh, was a factory worker my mom uh, uh, uh like uh, she was a school teacher still she is a teacher she hasn't retired yet but now she is a principal like in all these years many years have passed more than 30 years she has already done her job i had a sibling my sister and uh, i was youngest in the family so definitely i was getting more love <laughs> we lived in um, staff quarters like uh, you know that uh, industries companies they allocate quarters to their employees so that's where i was brought up so from st in my junior days itself like i have seen middle class society middle class values and uh, i always wanted to be like doing good in life so when uh, like f when it comes to studies like uh, i was taken to kg lkg but there i did not survive for long due to whatever reasons i don't remember you can imagine the number of years have passed i uh, left them like i did not complete my lkg ukg straight away i was admitted in standard 1 and i still remember that day even after many years that uh, on the day of school admission i was crying and i did not want to go and then my dad came all the way and he slapped me and uh, took me on luna those who are from india uh, remember that in late 80s and early 90s luna was a very popular two wheeler vehicle it doesn't uh, exist anymore but it used to be then so he took me on luna took me to uh, school and got me admitted so i continued my primary education when it comes to study i was Good. i won't say i was bad in study i was good in studies but i was never a topper in standard 1 i came first in standard 2 i came second and in standard 3 i came fourth standard 4 i came third standard 5 i came fourth so i was holding good rank no doubt and i was like in every classroom in india you see like there are few favorite students um teachers like so i was in that good book i was always in good book sometimes i was in bad book also because i was very naughty as well making lot of nuisance lot of disturbance because my dad's plant uh, shifted uh, multiple times during his career so we had to shift my quarter and uh, schools as well so when i was in uh, standard 4 that time what happened like one of my relatives uh my uncle maternal uncle uh he graduated from one of the prominent institutions in india in engineering in mechanical engineering and he bagged a very good job so in whole family uh, he earned his name like everyone was like after him that what 
kind of achievement he has met and we all wanted to so that was the first time uh, i thought that i would like to do engineering okay i would like to do engineering that was the very first time i thought so before that i still am still i was in standard 4 so i got some um uh, interest in engineering although i i did not know even abc of engineering but time flies right so i passed standard 5 then i got admitted in standard 6 7 in 6 i uh, i don't remember what i got i think i got fourth rank perhaps yeah seventh i got fourth eighth i came first yeah in all three exams yeah Ninth, I came fifth, and ten in I I came fourth. And then uh, when I was passing standard ten, that was the first time I encountered the real world. And uh, first time I realized that now when I'm stepping into the real world, life is never gonna be the same. Now, well, till standard ten, I had. never got the seriousness about career or anything that i would like to be but after that it was too much on me like i really wanted to do much better so what option i had i had to study that was the first time after i finished my standard 10 my matriculation exam in india i decided that now i should study really hard but i faced various challenges because i was studied in english uh, sorry in hindi medium my english wasn't good at all it was very much broken and i was admitted into 11 12 so i was also encountering the same issue like other hindi medium guys in my state where uh, we had to all of a sudden switch to english medium and read those english books i mean whether it's uh, physics mathematics chemistry anything you read you got to read in english and try to understand the concepts at a very high level and it was uh, like early 2000 it was early 2000 and uh, things were changing rapidly fast communication was gaining its footsteps those who are young now in 20s they will not uh they must not have seen those days that we have seen as uh late 80s kids like uh there used to be a show game show and it was a very popular in india kon banega karunpati hosted by mr bachan and because of this show lot of households had purchased landline phones communication revolution was going through and even in my home this landline phone came but still there was no time for cell phone cell phone was just about to hit uh during those days so i went to uh, intermediate we call it inter or whatever you can say 11 and 12 there also i was a good student but at this time i became studious i really tried hard i faced thousands of difficulties but every time i faced a difficulty i embraced it i worked hard because at the end i decided that i had no option i had to do something something i should do during those days uh, for engineering and trans examinations uh, two popular were iit je and aiee and various other state exams like odisha uh, je west bengal je so in so in the year 2004 i appeared for them so for iit j i could not qualify in screening it used to be two sections screening and mains i could not qualify in screening due to whatever reason i won't go but it's okay fine i appeared for nda exam but results came very late i'll talk about that later then ai triple i qualified i got rank in 20000 and uh, I also qualified uh, West Bengal J. My rank was four thousand, and in Odisha J. My rank was in five hundred. So the best type of found was in Odisha J. But in other, I uh, did not. I mean, it's okay. But when it came 
came to uh, get an admission i got a deemed university through ai triple e so i went for that uh, to complete my engineering so it was very far from my house and uh, i still went and that was the time really like i came out of my home for the first time and there were so many issues with me in every aspect i did not even realize but when i reached there that was the moment like you say that boys become men so uh, in the real life i stepped into and for the very first time i started learning the things around in my college uh, ragging policies were very strict so i was not subjected to do something very embarrassing some introductory activities were done with me but everything was within the limit so i don't uh, mind my seniors were very supportive and still after many years i am in touch of a few of them my batchmates were good the state i went to uh, had a different language so honestly i did not feel good and comfortable and i was very much reserved when it comes to interacting with locals and it took some time for me but later on i became interactive with them and then i became like friends for some of the localites i went to their homes also and still it's okay like now i'm getting too personal like still i miss those days honestly guys those days is like college days stay in your heart forever and uh, some details i cannot share with you publicly but something i can definitely share like ha <sighs> i had a broken how can i say guys <laughs> something uh, good and bad happened and i have moved on i have moved on i have moved on i have moved on uh, whatever happened because if i describe the whole story to you it you may pass judgment and it will be like one sided i really don't want that uh, but it's okay like uh, life is like a river of water that flows and doesn't go back so it's okay moved on many years passed but those memories are still vivid in my memory every moment every day every time everything <sighs> anyway when it comes to studies in college i was really good i never became a topper i would be honest to you guys but my cgpa was coming really good everywhere i was doing good like in some i was in good books of many teachers many teachers admired me so when you take admission into engineering colleges what is your main motive to get placement right so during my days now i am in the year 2007 okay third year of my college and placement drive was about to begin and like everyone i was very nervous too nervous guys like all of you and uh, uh a company came like it was tcs tata consultancy services we all know right those who are from india know about this company tcs came okay and i was like very much worried but the dates were announced eligibility list were published and i studied really hard for tcs beat um gen- logical reasoning generals um uh, past papers so many sites were available so many matters i did so for tc it was online test and you got to be very care- I- i'm not sure what they do now but i'm talking about 2007 so uh, some people did a mistake like they clicked wrong button during the test and then their test was over and they couldn't go back so i was like very much careful and i went for that uh, when for the writing test i mean it was online on the computer 
when the questions came initially i was nervous but then i uh, like held my heart and i started uh, answering those questions at the end when i submitted i was almost like lost shocked by the time it was loading all of a sudden got the message that congratulations you are done a form was given to me and i was told about my next set of uh, interview which would happen next day so i came out of the building i was very happy some of my friends were there and they all greeted me i said no don't tell anything to me now i still have to cross two more rounds but round 1 was clear and i was very happy that night i prepared really high uh, hard last moment practice yeah few things i would like to tell you that i missed perhaps just 6 months before um, this placement drive was about to start what i did uh, i realized that i wasn't doing good okay especially in english so i knew that if i don't speak good in english i would not be selected and i had no other option because if you do not get selection in the first company um you get the frustration right when you see your friends getting placed it's normal human tendency and i would also got the same so i don't mind saying say, uh, saying that so in order to improve my english apart from reading uh, english articles or collecting words and using i thought i should speak in english i should adopt it as my language and that decision actually helped me in my hostel in my college everywhere i started speaking in english everywhere lot of my friends made fun of me you know that what words uh, guys use in college hostels boys hostels so they were used for me it's okay it doesn't matter i knew i was lacking in what particular section so whatever happens in the world whatever people think about me in the world i got to pra- do practice with that i did i did i listened to bad words i practiced and then um uh, when the time came to actually go through it after all the nervousness after all the hard work when the first round was clear that night in my anxiety i couldn't sleep well next day was my interview so i went for interview technical round was for 5 minutes they asked me simple questions and they told me to wait outside my heart was pumping like i can't even tell you how fast it was pumping it was almost in my mouth when uh, the staff the volunteer staff whatever they told i was sent for the hr round that time oh my it was called mr round i think i mr hr i don't remember that time like i got uh, uh what do you call happiness before getting into the hr round i had some sort of confidence that now things will be clear easier for me so all of a sudden my anxiety my frustration every thing wrong moved away far from me and i went for my final interview it was again for 5 minutes and they said thank you that uh, that night i couldn't sleep either and i was going through this interview test and all i did not even inform it to my parents because somewhere in my heart there was a thought that if i tell them that i am through this this and i have gone for the final round in case a negative result comes how would they feel it will be too much of pressure on me so i unfortunately could not say a single word only to my sister i had informed next day presentation results started they announced they, they started announcing results alphabetically as per branch like branch 1 results branch 2 results this time okay. so my branch was not the first to be announced so i saw some people saying yes 
थैंक गॉड आई एम प्लेस टैम प्लेस ओ माई गॉड देन माई ब्रांच केम अल्फाबेटिकली दे केम माई हार्ट वॉज पम्पिंग सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड स्टार्ट डांसिंग वेन माई नेम नेम केम हो माई गॉड I fell like on ground. Oh my God! I achieved it. Finally, I achieved it. I left the room, presentation room, outside. Uh, I met my senior. He was a nice Tamilian guy, and uh, I just hugged him. I just hugged my senior. I was almost about to cry, so he was the first person I saw. I cried. I just went and uh, hugged him. that sir i got blessed so he also hugged me congratulated me and uh, then i came out i uh, called my sister i got blessed then i uh, made a call to my home my dad was not at home uh, my mom was there and uh, i informed her uh, that i got blessed mommy she also started jumping uh my dad did not have a cell phone by then even in 2007 he got it in 2008 so he did not have a cell phone and he went for a walk at a park so i came back went to hostel by the time i reached hostel like news like such pieces of news uh do not stay at a place it spreads like a wild wi- wildfire in college so the moment i reached hostel my friends came they hugged me they started giving me booms bombs you know right bombs <laughs> so i went through that very happy and uh, uh, i decided that i should buy some sweets so sweet shop or sweet ma- was not nearby i had to take a bus to go so i went out of my college gate i got on to a bus and i went to buy sweets when i was in the bus my phone rang my dad had called Uh, the moment i said that uh, he already got the news but he just called me to confirm i said yeah that's true and uh, he didn't speak to me even for 2 minutes he just said bam bam bhole and he uh, placed the receiver down later on i came to know that he offered sweet to all his groups so uh, then i went to uh, the market purchased sweets came back gave sweets to my friends and before i went to the hostel like i checked the list manually that my name was there so my name was literally there so uh that time i got realized yeah i am done many more companies came afterwards and you know guys my interview dress shoes nothing stayed with me even my uh, folder with documents somebody took my folder somebody took my shirt pad belt uh interview uh, shoes for all my friends who were not placed on the first day but i got really got relieved that on the first day itself i got placement i mean all stress everything was just drained out of my mind and peacefully i completed rest of my course in 2008 i passed out but then again something really bad happened those who have seen those days they know about 2008 recession right thanks to tcs that even after recession they took us and they uh, like tcs had jobs tcs like uh, allowed us to work in projects so i really appreciate tcs that they gave us joining on time let us work on time everything they did on time but me but some of my friends those who were placed in other big co- it companies they did not get such things on time and they struggled a lot but we were very lucky that even during the peak recession we were held and we were paid that was very important so after completing my training i was posted uh, at what of at one of the branches so this was again to a different geographic location in india but it was nearer to my home not far so i liked that i went there in 2008 and i rented a home with a friend 
and uh, for one bedroom apartment in the city of kolkata during those days the rent was just 4000 can you imagine it is 2008 and it was not in salt lake just near to salt lake it was chingri ghata so from now if i look back 15 years have crossed 15 years wow so i lived there i was working in project so i lived there in that locality till 2010 in 2010 i moved to salt lake which was even nearer to my office i worked there till 2012 and in 2012 again my life made a sudden change for the first time i was sent to work in canada after working in IT company for four years. I was uh, sent to work in Canada for my client. I came on LMO. Those who of you like those who are applying for Canadian jobs now, they know that there is a concept LMIA, Labor Market Impact Assessment. It used to be called LMO during those days, Labor Market Opinion. So uh, I got LMO. I came here. it was the, the year when it was started <laughs> so uh, my work permit was approved for one year but one month was exhausted in india itself to complete various formalities so i was granted a work permit of 11 months when i reached here at the border so uh, i enjoyed my time i was doing well in my job but something very bad has happened that changed my life like after working for 11 months just i was falling one month short during those days 2012 2013 there was no express entry even for regular permanent residence application it was on paper so i could have been eligible with just one more month of work canadian work experience but i was shattered i was sent back to india and i really did not want to go but those of you who are in it industry or in and in other professional settings you know that nothing so those of you who are in professional world you guys know that uh, in front of management decision there is nothing that you could do so i also could not do but i was shattered like after spending 11 months just for one month i was sent back where did i go wrong i could not realize what was my fault the only thing i could do at that time is to fight back and i decided that regardless of how much i i was suppressed how much i was depressed i would fight back and i fought back what i decided that i will decide myself where i want to go where uh, i want to do something i will decide and i worked really hard i started investigating or researching about visa process of various countries not just canada be it australia new zealand denmark Germany all countries Austria all countries I searched South Africa I am just telling you the names I did detailed research detailed analysis I understood their systems and all so the journey was very difficult for me after my canadian dream was shattered a single ray of hope I found for Australia I scored really well in IELTS and that really helped me that proved to be the key for me but apart from that i really uh, had to do too much anyway guys so for australia uh, i went through acs for my skill assessment i won't go into their detail but uh, you can watch my australian immigration story where i have described all the challenges issues road blocks how i hit and i won one after one one after one and finally i made it same thing for canada but 
when you do too much of hard work and you are determined that you are not gonna stop unless you reach your target then believe me guys you are gonna hit the target because it's in any fight the person who wins is not the person who fights better the person who wins is who gets up every time when he falls if you have this tendency to stand up every uh, after you fall every time to stand up and fight back every time you fall believe me guys you cannot be stopped because ultimately your opponent is going to surrender in my case this was circumstances like my circumstances were too difficult my dreams my options everything was shattering around me but i was determined that whatever happens in the world whatever happens i will achieve my dream one day because i am going to decide about my career i am going to decide where i am going to live and it has to be for me and guys if you do it honestly you are going to hit your target that's what i have learned and when god comes to you then when when god comes to you and stars shine for you believe me guys your situation changes like something you can't even imagine like in hindi there's a famous proverb dene wala jab bhi deta deta chhappad phad ke so for me it was really chhappad phad ke when god gave me when i had nothing i had nothing but when they gave me they gave me to the extent like people can't even imagine within a span of few weeks i was going i was being approved for us yes my h1 b petition was successful although i did not go for ds 160 another process canada australian pr was approved then canada work permit for the second time all these happened immediately one after one when god came to, uh, to help me and i decided to come to canada uh, but i activated my australian pr by traveling to australia just to have the backup so this was in now i am in 2014 end and on 31st december of 2014 i traveled to canada for the second time and i completed one month and i am in 2015 now so <laughs> most of the period of my life is covered in 2015 i, I am now and uh, yeah i mean i uh, in 2015 canada started express entry so uh, after working here for one month i went to the pool again and i got selected my my high high alt score helped me because in the third draw i was picked up of express entry and the cut off for that draw was 481 and my score was 485 and i got selected i applied and i got the visa so it was july when i was approved for pr i remember like i was at office and i was not feeling well so i was going to a doctor's office when i was standing at an intersection my phone vibrated when i checked there was an email from ircc and when i was sitting at the waiting area i checked the mail oh my god my pr got approved and then things changed for me forever i went to niagara falls land border crossing and uh, they uh, signed my documents and i was a pr so dream came true i worked for some more days and then i got married <laughs> and uh, then uh, i sponsored my spouse i should change my job and then still i am in that job many years have passed i uh, started youtube channel i try to help you guys i had lot to share with you guys based on my knowledge research experience but every time i make a video uh, video and in most of my videos you will find a disclaimer that actually i'm not an immigration consultant nor am i a government worker so i try to help but i cannot take guarantee of the information that i provide to you because i am not licensed professional so it's just a help so don't consider legal advice personal advice and if you take anything 
you do it at your own risk that i always say because i don't want to misguide i find a lot, lot of people doing scams and all and i try i really want to protect you guys because that's how i i have been brought up from a middle class family and my dad was a very honest guy very honest guy he was a different kind of person with or when it comes to honesty for everything he was very honest and i learned honesty from him and then that's what my life now i am in canada after many years still my family members are there in india and i talk to them sometimes so i gave you this is this was like a podcast of my life and today i really wanted to do on this weekend casual time so already the video is very long so thanks for watching this guys thank you